good day children welcome to today's class today we'll be doing english composition we will begin with a new topic today before we start the topic let's have some fun do you know what this is yes it's a jigsaw puzzle yes so we'll be solving one jigsaw puzzle and we'll find out what we are making and that will be the clue for the today's topic what we are going to do so let's start solving the jigsaw puzzle okay children are you all ready for the activity let's get started can you see this different parts of the jigsaw so let us start solving the jigsaw let's take the first part okay now which part shall we take this 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 okay yellow part let us join the yellow part to the blue part okay now let's see the next part which part will take hmm okay let's take the green part hmm can you guess what the picture is okay let's join the next part which part which part which part okay let's take the red part Hmm. Two parts left. Hmm. Which part shall we take now? Okay. Let's take the green part. Oh! Can you guess what it is? I have already guessed what it is. Quick, quick! Oh! Only one part left. Can you tell me what it is? Okay, an elephant, isn't it lovely? Yes, see such a lovely jigsaw and elephant. Very nice. Okay, so today's topic for the composition is an elephant. Okay. Here's the picture of an elephant. So when you see the elephant, what comes to your mind? How does the uh, elephant look? Yes, the elephant is the biggest land animal. It is very big, large, huge. Yes, and it's very strong. The elephant is very, very strong. It's very huge. It is the biggest land animal on the earth. The elephant has four legs and they look like pillars. Yes. Now what are pillars? Can you see this picture? Yes. What are pillars? Pillars are vertical structures of stone, wood or metal used as a support for the building okay they are used for the support of a building okay they are called as pillars so uh, the elephant's uh, legs they look like this pillars thick pillars yes the elephant has got a very short tail it's a huge animal but its tail is very short now the elephant has got a large head the head is very big and these are its ears and what do the ears look like can you guess yes the ears look like fan yes the hand fan it looks like that and the elephant has got two small eyes yes two small eyes 
the elephant has got two white tusk can you see this the teeth that are coming out of its mouth it is called as the teeth are called as tusks okay they are white in color okay can you tell me what is this part of the elephant's body called as yes it's a trunk yes it's the elephant's trunk it is actually the nose of the elephant yes so the elephant breathes through its trunk okay and the trunk is so long right from the head to the it's almost touching the ground yes and the elephant smells everything through its trunk yes and it's so long see it can reach the trees which are in on height yes now the elephant's trunk plays a major part okay why because the elephant uses its trunk to do many things first of all the elephant uses its trunk to drink water the elephant uses its trunk to put the food in its mouth okay the trunk is very flexible now what does the an, uh, elephant eat it eats grass leaves of the tree the elephant eats all the fruits and vegetables so everything whatever he is eating he is picking up all the things with his trunk and the elephant is putting everything in its mouth with the help of the trunk so here it is eating a banana eating a bunch of bananas here watermelon or some fruit yes the elephant also uses its trunk to spray water on its body elephants love to bathe in the water and it takes a bath using its trunk it fills up the trunk with water and sprays all over its body see the elephant is enjoying now the elephant's trunk is very strong it uses its trunk to hold things can you see it's holding a log and here a bundle of sticks yes so the elephant's trunk is very strong well what is this a baby elephant and what is it called i think you all know this baby elephant is called as a calf baby elephant is called as a calf and what is the male elephant called as we have learned this in grammar yes bull elephant correct and what is the female elephant called as yes cow elephant very good yes so the baby of the year the baby of the elephant is called as calf the elephants they always move in herds what do you mean by that the elephants they always move in herds now elephants they don't move around alone okay some animal uh, elephants they move but usually they are all in herds that means groups can you see groups of group of elephants is called as herd so they usually move in herds they live in herds okay you had there are very few animals who will move around alone but usually they move in herds they live in herds now see this such a lovely elephant and the elephant is decorated with 
garlands and all ornaments can you see yes now elephant is the state animal of kerala okay it is the state animal of kerala and during onam festival and some other festivals there is a parade of elephants they decorate the elephants with ornaments and garlands and see can you see here some gungurus on the feet of the uh, elephant okay so when the elephants they walk the sound will come chum 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 so elephants they take uh, they uh, move uh, during onam there is a parade of elephants in kerala now elephants are very very strong okay and they are used to carry heavy loads from one place to the other place here a huge bundle of branches and here also logs the elephant is carrying logs of wood they are very strong now in olden days the kings they used to move from one place to the other place on an elephant see the king is sitting here the king is sitting here so the elephants were used by the kings to move from one place to the other place and the elephants were also used do in the war in the battlefield yes the kings used to fight with each other and they used to fight with each other in the battlefield they used to sit on the elephants and fight with each other can you see here the elephants yes so elephants were used in wars also now where can you see elephants can you go to the forest to see the elephant no so we usually see the elephants in the zoo see here the children are enjoying seeing the elephant and where else can you see the elephant in the circus yes and elephants are very intelligent you can teach them many things and they can learn very quickly okay they can be trained to do tricks see here the elephant is rolling a drum here the elephant is on a ball sitting on the chair and lifting up its legs can you see so elephants are also seen in the circus now as such elephants are very friendly but the elephants living in the forest the those wild elephants they are very very dangerous and sometimes they even chase you see this elephant is running so fast and they can even harm you see here the elephant is pushing the car with its trunk and legs so some of the wild elephants are very very dangerous okay children so now let us learn some sentences for the composition so you already know the topic and elephant repeat the sentence after me twice an elephant is the largest land animal an elephant is the largest land animal an elephant is the largest land animal it is very strong and intelligent it is very strong and intelligent it is very strong and intelligent it breathes through its trunk it breathes through its trunk it breathes through its trunk picks up things with its trunk it picks up things with its trunk it picks up things with its trunk it uses its trunk to drink water and 
put food in its mouth. It uses its trunk to drink water and put food in its mouth. It uses its trunk to drink water and put food in its mouth. Its legs are like pillars and yours are like fans. Its legs are like pillars and yours are like fans. Its legs are like pillows and yours are like fans. It has a pair of white tusks and a short tail. It has a pair of white tusks and a short tail. It has a pair of white tusks and a short tail. Its young one is called a calf. Its young one is called a calf. Its young one is called a calf. Elephants live in herds. Elephants live in herds. Elephants live in herds. Elephants carry heavy loads. Elephants carry heavy loads. Elephants carry heavy loads. We can also see elephants in a zoo or a circus. We can also see elephants in a zoo or a circus. We can also see elephants in a zoo or a circus. It can be trained to do tricks. It can be trained to do tricks. It can be trained to do tricks. The wild elephants are very dangerous. The wild elephants are very dangerous. The wild elephants are very dangerous. Okay, children. Now, you all will learn this composition, all the 12 points. And you will also write the composition, all the 12 points in your rough book. Three times in your rough book. Okay, children. So, do your homework. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you. See you next time. Sairam.